all welcome to satputa academy today we will discuss implementation of bubble sort in python so let us discuss the theory first so this is the array given to us we are asked to arrange this array or sort this array in ascending order by using bubble sort so in bubble sort what we do is we first find the biggest number from this array and place it at the last location so let us do it so i will compare these two numbers this is greater than this so i will swap so 4 and then i will have 20 here then i compare 20 with 15 so 20 is greater than 15 so i will swap here i'll have 20 and here i'll have 15 then i compare 20 with 7 20 is greater than 7 so swap then i compare 20 with -1 so 20 is greater than -1 so swap thus if i rewrite the array the array looks like this 4 fifteen seven minus one and twenty right so if you look at the array i got the biggest number that is twenty at the last location then i never touch this number because it is correctly placed so this is called as the first pass this completes my first pass first pass first pass in the first pass i found the biggest number and placed it at the last location now if i uh, think from programming point of view what i do, what i did is i took a uh, variable j and initialized it to last location that is 0 th- uh, n minus 1 location and i took another variable called as i which i initialized to 0 0 location this is 0th location of the array this is 0th location first location second location third and fourth if there are five numbers the last location will be 4 so what i did is i compared a of i with a of i plus 1 and if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 i swap these two swap a of i with a of i plus 1 then i brought my i from here to here right and again i compared a of i with a of i plus 1 and swapped if required then i brought my i to this location and, uh, and did the comparison and did the swapping if required then i brought my i to this location and then did did the comparison and did the swapping if required so this was the final comparison and swapping i need not bring my i from here to here because there is no no number here to compare with that's why my i will come to come till j minus 1 only right now what i do in the next uh, uh, next pass i will bring my j from here to here to this location this location j will go from here to here that means i am making my j 3 decrementing j and when my j is 3 i am reinitializing my i to 0 that is this location then again i'll compare a of i with a of i plus 1 and if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 i will do the swapping then i compare a of i with a of i plus 1 a of i is i'll bring my i here a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 so i do the swapping then i bring my i here and compare a of i with a of i plus 1 so a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 i do the swapping i need not bring my i from here to here because i will not do this comparison because 20 is already correctly placed so my i will stop here only right that completes my second pass if i write the output of the second pass it looks like this 4 7 1 15 then i will bring my j from here to here j will be decremented by 1 and i will reinitialize my i to this location zeroth location that is when j is at this location that is j is at second location i will be reinitialized to 0 then we will do the same procedure to find the biggest number from this part of the array and place it at this location so 4 is compared with 7 4 is smaller than 7 so do not swap 
bring i to this location. 7 is compared with minus 1, 7 is greater than minus 1, so do the swapping. I need not bring my i from here to here because this is the last comparison of this path, so I did it. I will stop here only. So if I rewrite the output of this path, it will be 4, minus 1, 7, 15, Fifteen and twenty. So these three numbers are correctly placed. Now, from this part of the area, I will find the biggest number and place it at the last location. This was my second pass. This was third pass. Now, in the next pass, what will I do is I will bring my j from here to here. That is on this location j. I will start my i from here and go till j minus one. If so, I will be compared with uh, a of i plus 1, a of i will be compared with a of i plus 1, so this 4 is greater than minus 1, so swap 4 and minus 1. Then I need not bring my i here because already I have made the last comparison, that was the only comparison required because all the remaining numbers are already sorted, so I will not touch those, I will not disturb those. So that was the only comparison which I did and uh, I got my array like this minus 1, 4, 7, 15 and 20 and that was the fourth pass which was the last pass at the end of which I get the array sorted because I will ha I already placed these n minus 1 numbers correctly so this number will be automatically placed correctly I need not do any work for this number right so that's how I get the sorted array there were five numbers right so we will perform four passes in general if there are n numbers we will perform n passes n passes n i'm sorry n minus 1 passes n numbers will perform n minus 1 passes n minus 1 passes now in each pass we will place the biggest number of that pa uh, of that uh, part of the array at the last location of that part of the array so in the first pass we found the biggest number and placed it at the last location. In the second pass we found the biggest number from this part of the array and placed it at the last location. In the third pass we found the biggest number from this part of the array and placed it at the last location. So if you observe at the behavior of i and j, j is getting decremented. When j was 4 we started our i at 0 and went till 3. Right? When j was at 3 we started our i at 0 and went till 2. When our j was at 2, we started our i at 0 and uh, went till 1. Right? So that is how i was going till j minus 1. And j was, so j was going, uh, j was decrementing and i was incrementing till j minus 1. So let us uh, write a program for this now, python program for this. So this is the python program which I already wrote. So I need to import a import numpy because the program which I will be implementing uh, will be for floating point number. So imp for floating point array, I require this numpy. I'll be imp importing numpy as np, right? And this is the bubble sort procedure or function. To this, we are passing array, right? A computing the length of the array. So our j will go from n last location till zero. So here uh, j will go from n minus 1 till 1, last location will be n minus 1, this n, n and uh, when I say n comma 0 it will be going, it will be going from n minus 1 to 1 and minus 1 because uh, j will be decremented by 1 every, every time j will be decremented by 1. So now uh, when j is n minus 1 or i will start at 0 and will go till j minus 1 i will start at 0 and will go till j minus 1 and every time we will compare a of i with a of i plus 1 and if we, if required we will do the swapping so that is how for every j i will run from 0 to j minus 1 for every j right? and j will get decremented at the uh, at the at uh, the after swapping 
I mean after placing one uh, big, biggest number of that particular pass at the last location j will be decremented and then then we will again restart our i from 0 till j minus 1. So now from here we are taking array a and this is array a then we are calling bubble sort on array a and printing. So let us uh, uh, execute this program. You see this is the sorted array which we got right, in ascending order this array is sorted in ascending order. So that is bubble sort in python. Uh, thank you for watching.